guys, we have. Hey guys, so today we um are, well I am gonna do something very different because lately I've seen this a lot and I've actually enjoyed it. So I'm gonna make it for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, so what we are gonna do in today's video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you seven different ideas to upgrade slash improve your clone army. But before we start, I have to tell you something. On our channel, we don't just do Lego building videos. We do connects building videos, Beyblade videos. We also have another channel it's called Passer Tube Gaming. So and let's start. start. And guys, also, because I love you guys and you guys are amazing, I have made over 1,800 videos. And so you I guys should it. check it out. So yeah, anyways, let's start. <laughs> so um, the first... The first little one is, if you want to start your LEGO Star Wars clone army, instead of just going out and buying, like, lots of the same ones, the first tip is to get variety. So, see, I have a shock trooper. There's a one. And instead of me just going out it's and buying red. tons of these shock troopers, it's you, red. you can also get a plane trooper. Or And this is black. Actually, I don't want to show the rest because um, the rest I have right now are the ones for tip for other tips. You can have three thirty seconds, five hundred first shark troopers, other types of troopers. So now for tip two. So yeah. these troopers seem a bit bland, right? Not really this much detail, red. nothing too special about them. So first tip. So tip number two is that if you guys. So, tip number two is new weapons. These are nasty. We don't like these. So, I mean, we kind of do, but we, we don't like these too much. We can either get custom ones or brick-built ones. Now, the first brick-built one is my probably my favourite, and maybe the only one that I would actually use is this machine gun, guys. It's a very nice machine gun, very easy to build. And in the next video, instead of me showing you ideas, I will make a tutorial on how to improve your clone army. So, yep, just a simple machine gun. And also, going with weapons, you can also... If you, if you like the Lego ones, well, why not add some things to it? Like the sniper, add a little muzzle at the end of it to make it, like, stronger, I guess. And that's... Pretty much tip number two done. And also, guys, you can get custom ones. Very important. And tip number three, guys, is going to be accessories. Helmet accessories. So, two is that, so helmet accessories, you can kind of get... If you have LEGO City, guys, and LEGO Star Wars, if you've seen, like, the motor motorcycle drivers, you can kind of, like, put their thing on the new new phase twos or old phase ones so um yeah and you can also get normal lego star wars ones and just plop them on so yeah that's tip number two guys so moving on to tip number three we have backpacks so backpacks are very important in star wars so here we have my custom built 330 second backpack because as you know 330 seconds are white blue and orange and also it has the republic logo on it as well which is nice we have that backpack we can get this backpack with binoculars on it you can get this backpack which can clip on weapons right here that backpack can clip on weapons. I'll just put that back on this minifigure. And we can also get this backpack. And this one right here. I can't take it off because I blue tacked it on. Because, yeah, why not? And, yeah, so that's tip number three, guys. Moving on to tip number four. Probably my favourite out of this entire video because I worked very hard on this um so let me show you guys so on this clone captain vaughn that i got from the 332nd battle pack and this little 
custom little clone trooper. I have not custom, normal Lego clone trooper. So yeah, as you can see, guys, I want you to guess what's the difference between normal and these. Well, I've made these custom pauldrons and cameras. I'll show you from the back as well. And just the normal clone trooper and the normal 332nd or Captain Vaughn, as you can see right there. And you can get custom ones, or like me, you can DIY and make one out of paper. So yeah, if I just take it off, I'll just, it's very, it's very stuck, so I have to take the body off. So as you can see here, here is the camera. Just put the, you can see that one while I put this back together, so I can show you the other one. So for this, I've also built like a pauldron as well, which is really nice. Sadly, um, because it's the first time trying, the blue didn't go um that good on the pauldron, but on the camera it did pretty well. So yeah, here is the pauldrons and cameras you can guys make out of Lego, or get actual ones from Lego, or get custom ones. So yeah, let me quickly assemble my mini figures that I just took apart. But for now, let me just take these out the way and go to tip number four. We have custom shields. So as you can see here, we have like a Republic shield, which has the Republic logo and can be bent like this. So your clone trooper can hold it. like that to fight off the droids while also protecting himself and maybe other fellow clone troopers like so so yeah so guys um moving on we have tip number six so tip number six is very cool because we're going to move back to these guys. So as you can see, Lego has given us just like a standard, I guess, lieutenant or sergeant, 501st trooper. I mean, you can also give them roles by giving them like the custom helmet attachments, these pauldrons and camos, give them backpacks and other stuff like that. And also... Step number seven, we have roles. So this guy, his role is, I guess, lieutenant or general or commander. And Captain Vaughan, well, in his name, he's a captain. He's the main guy of the 332nd, apart from their general, which is the Jedi. We can also get, like, this guy the 332nd jetpack trooper that's his role he's a jetpack trooper as you can see he has a jetpack at the back and let me quickly put this back on so i can show you the next one so then going back to the 332nd we have a 332nd um heavy heavy gunner as you can see right here, 332nd Heavy Gunner. And then we can also get like a another a 501st Heavy Gunner with a shield and a nice gun attachment and a nice backpack. And some helmet attachments, as you can see. And then we have a... Then we have a 501st Heavy Trooper, not a gunner. I mean, yeah, Heavy heavy Trooper. As you can see, he's not a heavy gunner, because all he has is a pistol and a sniper and an axe. And a binoculars in his hand, so you, I guess you can call him the heavy inventory of the team because he's pretty much stacked with anything. 
and so also I didn't have this prepared you, another roll is like so I mean this is the specialist so this is the specialist right um but I don't um just pretend he's a normal trooper so say he's a normal trooper right give him like a red arm and then you've given give him a backpack and maybe a few syringes and then you have your clone medic and yeah so a quick overview of everything we said in this video so yeah so we have a variety cameras and pauldrons Our rolls, some other rolls, some extra accessories, and more rolls. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this video. In the next or couple next videos, I will definitely make sure to make a tutorial on these because right now I've only showed you like ideas or things so you guys can get on your imagination and create some like this. But if you're struggling, well, the tutorial will come out soon and you can definitely watch that. Oh, guys, before we end the video, I have a goal of reaching 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. And you know why I'm so confident is because you guys are amazing. I'm confident because I know you guys will like and subscribe because you guys are amazing. And also because you guys are amazing, I've made over 1,800 videos. We are going to 2,000 videos, guys. For everyone and everybody, we've made everything you could possibly like to watch. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to see my videos. Bye guys. Bye guys.